soared into the clouds. Gwendolyn started for home. A quarter of the way up her hill, a long shadow passed over her head. She looked up. Peter Pan! She ran. How could he come when she wasn't tucked in bed and ready? <laughs> Wait, she shouted. He flew into her bedroom window. She pounded up the hill, panting. Would he leave when no girl was waiting for him? The bedroom window closed. Her chest felt about to explode. As she ran, she fumbled in her skirt pocket for her key. At last, she reached the door, but her hand was shaking so hard she could barely fit the key in. Finally, she succeeded and tore up the stairs. She opened her bedroom door cautiously. She opened her bedroom door cautiously. Mother stood against the wall between the two windows. Peter was nowhere, but Gwendolyn heard muffled crying. What's muffled crying? What does muffled mean? Yes. Stuffed. Stuffed, kind of stuffed, and would it be loud? Quiet. Quiet, yeah, yes. Um, <coughs> Mother pointed at the closet and whispered, I closed the door and the windows to keep him here. He's crying because I grew up. She smiled wistfully. What kind of smile is a wistful smile? Yes. Not exactly, but close. What is anybody? Yes. A sad smile. A sad smile, yeah. Um, I half wish I hadn't grown up. Gwendolyn hugged her, poor mother. Two weeks on the island, sweetie, then come home, have fun. Mother patted Gwendolyn's cheek and left, closing the bedroom door with a loud click. Gwendolyn stood in front of her closet, feeling a little afraid. This was it, the beginning. And I'm going to read to you, I think, just a little bit from the, the very inside of a book, right inside a picture book, even at the beginning. These are called the end papers, and the sheep are talking. So one sheep says, every day is the same. The next sheep says, we never go any place new. The third sheep says, the shepherds never take us. Then a sheep says, my wool is itchy. <laughs> and another sheep says, one of our shepherds may be a wolf. And a lamb says, I want to be a wolf someday. <laughs> so I hope you'll look for Betsy Red Hoodie. What story do you think it's connected to? Anybody? Yes, Little Red Riding Hood. I had something called consulting rights. And uh, so when I had, they had to show me the scripts and I got to comment and they could either listen or not listen. So, um, Did they not listen? <laughs> well, when I said, why does there have to be an evil uncle and a talking snake? Um, they didn't listen. <laughs> but when this was shocking to me, there was a lot of dialogue in the original script that was really mean about women and girls. And when I pointed all that out to them, they took it all out. So I had some effect. Um, why they felt they needed the evil, they felt that Hattie was not enough. Um, and the curse was not enough. They needed these extra villains. Um, however, I like the movie, and it, I, you just have to think of them as two different things. And um, I'm very grateful to the movie, because the movie brought... How many of you saw the movie and then read the book? Yeah, it brought a lot of people to the book. So I'm very grateful to the movie. So I say, wherever I go, if anybody here is a producer or knows a producer... <laughs> or wants to be a producer someday. I have many other, I have 16 other books. 
I have been hugged several times by Anne Hathaway. So if you touch me, you will have touched somebody who was hugged by Anne Hathaway. And I have a picture of myself with the two stars. And before I show it to you, I have to prepare you a little bit because they are very, 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 very tall. <laughs> well, there are a bunch of answers to that. Um, I write kids' books, and I am an author because of the great books I read when I was a kid. So I loved the classics. I loved um, Heidi, Bambi, Peter Pan, um, the Anne of Green Gable books. A lot of books that have been written since I grew up obviously weren't available to me. There are, greater, there are great books today. Um, I also, but I was working for the New York State Commerce Department, and they had me writing their public relations. I had to write... Um, 30 second things that they would air about the Commerce Department and I'd have to make it interesting and saying something interesting about the Commerce Department at any length is very difficult and so I got very I got interested in putting the words together and arranging them and rearranging them and I think that sort of is what got me started there are many answers to that question though if if, you know, I could answer it in a lot of ways. A lot of influences come into things.